Hell is the goddess of death, and I've had incredible fun playing her. Oh, I've missed this. Hell is the first female villain that we've had in a Marvel film, and Kate has destroyed the idea of your typical villain. Neil. Before your queen. Loved working with Kate Blanchett. I was so excited to see what she was going to do. Hella has this insane, off kilter attitude. You look like a smart boy. How would you like a job? I think the best villains are always those that you kind of love and hate what they do, but you sort of understand it. There's a logic to it. She wants to come back home and be accepted, and she wants what's hers. You're in my seat. I would love for someone else to rule, but it can't be you. You're just the worst. Some of the happiest times have been beating people up. I've really enjoyed it. It's like, I don't just speak today. I can just throw axes into someone's gut. So it's been good. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're at the um, MCU photo shoot. There's Vin D back there. <laughs> There's a day that's going to come where you're going to see Groot and Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? What do you mean? Hey, Am I in trouble? This is so what is it? This is supposed to be a secret. It's a secret. You're not supposed to do this. I'm not? Oh shit, I'm not supposed to do that. Barry, am I in trouble? Oh no. <laughs> it was Finn's idea. Love you guys. See ya. Hey everybody, happy new footage day. I guess because it's New York Comic Con and they're posting all that Justice League footage over at DC, Marvel wants to get in on the fun. So they're like, here, have all of the hella. And Kate Blanchett is the most fantastic thing ever. She's like Marvel winning the lottery. Hopefully she never goes away. I want to see her show up in all the cosmic movies. But amongst a couple of other background scene changes, they said something really important during that footage. You may have picked up on it. They said, Hella wants to come home. So we'll talk about what that means and how they may have combined a couple characters from the comics to create her. They've already confirmed a few of those, but this new one, you know, her coming home implies some really big things. So if you didn't know I'm doing a Thor ticket giveaway now, all you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video. There's all kinds of New York Comic Con stuff dropping this weekend too. But the biggest thing first, now you get a much better look at that background scene change. They're in this big field, presumably still on Asgard somewhere next to this body of water, and they're still wearing their old costumes, so it looks like it happens right at the beginning of the film. It gets a little confusing because most of the footage we've seen is with them in their new costumes after they're on Sakaar, like after Thor gets his hair cut, after all the planet Hulk elements of the film. But the key here is when and how the hammer gets destroyed. Because like this Surtur scene here happens really early in the film, so that's before this Hela scene. So it sounds like he bites Surtur first, then he comes back to Asgard, finds out what Loki did, and they sort of deal with each other. Then Hela breaks out, and then she destroys the hammer and kicks him off to Sakaar. That seems like it happens while he's in the Rainbow Bridge here, trying to travel somewhere. Maybe he's trying to go back to Earth to get the help of the Avengers or someone else. You see her kick Loki out of the beam stream, so it's like he gets dumped somewhere else first before he makes it back to Zakar. And then you see her make her way to Thor. He still has the long hair, so it looks like that's how he gets to Sakaar too. So we can make some guesses about where he intended to escape to, but this is after his hammer has been destroyed, so she just comes after him in full force. But before I explain Hela real quick, I wanted to talk about Carl Urban, because he hasn't been in a whole lot of the trailers, but he has a pretty interesting character. He's sort of like the side villain who gets co-opted by Hela. But he said that the logic in this movie is, is you see this big bite scene where she just lays waste to all of Asgard's soldiers and then just destroys all these ships. So he sees that while they're in the Rainbow Bridge here and she gives him the choice. You can follow me or you can die. So he's not completely irredeemable in the movie. But the whole thing about Hela here, so we've talked a lot about her comic book backstory, about how Odin basically tasked her with taking care of the Asgardian underworld. She gets to cull a portion of Asgardian souls. It makes her very powerful. They also confirmed that she has some necro sword abilities. So if you know who Gore the God Butcher is from the comics, but she is not Gore the God Butcher himself. That's a slightly different story, but it, it does get into Ragnarok ideas. And when the director says that she wants to come home, and when you see Thor on the throne here with Odin's spear, and she's like, you're in my seat, 
it almost sounds like they're actually family and she's the pariah who's been banished to this other realm for this whole time, for thousands and thousands of years. So she might wind up being a version of Angela from the comics too. There's a weird right situation with the Angela character. Neil Gaiman owns the character and sort of licenses it out to Marvel. So I think that Marvel has just opted to combine a couple of those characters like Angela, Gore the God Butcher, and the Hela of the comics to create Hela of the MCU. And we should probably add the cosmic entity death to that too. So really you have four characters combined into one because Kate Blanchett is so fantastic. So it makes a lot of sense that they would do that. Don't do something with four characters when you can do it with one, especially if you can pull it off. So if you don't know who Angela is, she's Thor's sister who was taken by the angels of heaven. It's actually spelled like this, heaven. It's the 10th realm, like they say the nine realms. We found out in the comics a couple years ago, there's a secret 10th realm. And at some point, Odin had a war with them and he severed their connection to the other nine realms. But in this scene here where you see Hela throw all of her swords into this mural up at the top here, this is a depiction of the nine realms. Like you have Asgard at the center with the rainbow bridge extending to Midgard and the other realms around it. Hela is showing Scourge her plan. She's showing him Ragnarok, the destruction of all the nine realms. So let me know what you think about all this. And obviously there's that Infinity War clip at the end with Mark Ruffalo just being funny. There's a couple of people in there. You see Captain Marvel sitting next to him. Ben Diesel being really funny. Michael Rooker next to him. You see Chris Evans sitting way down here. Evangeline Lilly. It sounds like they're just doing a bunch of really glammed out photo shoots to promote Infinity War later this year. And they're just getting started with that now. But they'll probably drop that in the lead up to the actual Infinity War movie, which will probably coincide with the release of Thor Ragnarok. They'll mostly be promoting that this month, but after we get through that, they'll start hyping up Black Panther and Infinity War. That's really when we'll start seeing footage drop. But I just love Mark Ruffalo so much. Shit, I wasn't supposed to post that. It was Vin Diesel's idea. Vin Diesel made me do it. But if you didn't know, there's a big Justice League trailer that will drop tomorrow. I'll do a video for that. There's also special Rick and Morty Szechuan sauce that McDonald's is selling today. So if I get my hands on that, then I'll post a video later tonight for that. I'll say congratulations to the latest Thor ticket giveaway winner, Carlin Oresti. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. You can click here for more Infinity War and you can click here for new Justice League. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.